Hi guys! Good day, it's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today is all about finding the first five terms of the sequence given the nth term. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So once again, before answering this one, is you need to write n or how many positions that you will be answering. Since we are looking for the first five terms, therefore we have five positions. So our n will be, so n, one, first position, two, three, four and five we have five positions class since this one here this one here represents our first term two represents our second term three for the word third term four for our fourth term and five for our fifth term now since we're looking for the first five terms therefore we have five positions so the thing that you will do is you will be substituting this value of n from this given equation so you have a sub n equals n plus four now, if your n is 1, substitute the value of 1. So, if your n is 1, so a sub 1, n is 1, equals, so substitute the value of n, which is 1. So, this will be your first term. 1 plus 4, your first term will be 5. So, that's how you solve class. Just simply substitute the value of n from this general term. So, your first term will be 5. So, your second term from this given equation, a sub n equals n plus 4. So a sub 2, n is 2, so 2 plus 4, so 2 plus 4, your a sub 2 or your second term will be 6. So next number will be 6. So you try the third term, so a sub n equals n plus 4. If n is 3, so a sub 3 equals 3 plus 4. So third term will be 7, 3 plus 4 is 7. So check class, as you can see with this with this answer, with the sequence, you already have a pattern. So what would be the thing that you will do to 5 to make it 6 and 6 to make it 7? Of course, you will be adding 1. Okay, so the common difference is 1. So next number for 7, it should be 8 and it should next number for 8, it should be 9. So the last number should be 9. So if the teacher will allow you or to do it manually without use, without making the solution for the 4th term and 5th term, so that would be great, but since we need, we need to check this one, you're making the solution. So we will be writing the fourth term. So the fourth term, n plus 4. So a sub 4 equals, n is 4, 4 plus 4, this will be a sub 4 is equals to 8. So this is 8. And lastly, for number a sub 5, so a sub 5 equals n plus 5, or 5, n is 5, 5 plus 5. Oh, sorry, 5 plus 4 from this equation, n plus 4. So, n, 5 plus 4, your answer is 9. Alright, so this is the first 5 terms of this given sequence. So, we will be writing this answer here. 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Alright, that's the answer for number 1. So, you pause the video class because I will be erasing this one. Very easy, right? So, simply substitute the value of n from this given sequence. So if the teacher will ask you to look for the first three terms, so your n will be 1, 2, 3. Now since we're looking for the first five terms, that's why we have five positions. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Alright, let's have number 2. So if a, if n is 1, so from this equation, a sub n equals 2n minus 1. If n is 1, so the first term, so this will be a sub 1, 2 times 1 minus 1. So the first term will be 2 times 1 is 2, minus 1, so 2 minus 1 is 1. So the first term is 1. Alright, so let's have the second term. So a sub n equals 2n minus 1, a sub 2 for the second term, n is 2, 2 times 2 minus 1. So a sub 2 equals 2 times 2 is 4, minus 1, so a sub 2 is 3. So our second term is 3. Let's have number, uh, the third term, substitute the value of n, which is 3. So a sub n equals 2n minus 1. So a sub 3 equals 2 times 3 minus 1. So a sub 3 will be 2 times 3. Let's answer it directly. 2 times 3 is 6 minus 1. That's 5. So a sub 3 is 5. So look class, look at uh, the check. Check the patterns for this number. As you can see, what would be the thing that you will do to 1 to make it 3 and 3 to make it 5? Of course, you add 2, right? You will be adding 2. So therefore, the next number should be 7 and 9. 
Alright, let's try to check the fourth number. So A sub, and we will just answer it directly. A sub 4 equals the formula 4n, uh, 2n minus 1. So 2 times the n is 4. 2 times 4 minus 1. So A sub 4 equals 2 times 4 class is 8 minus 1 is 7. So that's why you have 7. And the last number... So we substitute the value of a a sub n equals 2n minus 1. So a sub 5, the perf the fifth term. So 2 times 5 minus 1. So a sub 5 equals 2 times 5 is 10 minus 1. A sub 5 is 9. 9. So those are the answer, the, fir the first five terms of this sequence. So the answer is 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. Alright, let's try number 3. Very easy, right? So, let's try number 3. So, A sub n equals 12n minus 3n. So, first term, A sub 1 equals 12 minus 3 times 1. So, substitute the value of n, which is 1. So, A sub 1 equals 12, negative 3 times 1, that's negative 3. 12 minus 3, that's neg uh, 12 minus 3, that's 9. So the first term is 9. So you label 9 from this first position. Let's have number 2. A sub n equals 12 minus 3n. Second position. So A sub 2 equals 12 minus 3 times 2. A sub 2 will be 12 negative 3 times 2. That's negative 6. A sub 2 will be 12 minus 6 is 6. Alright. Let's have A sub 3. So, A sub n equals 12, uh, 12 minus 3n. So, A sub 3 equals 12 minus 3 times 3. So, substitute the value of n, which is 3. So, this is 6 for the second term. So, A sub 3 will be negative 3 times 3. That's negative 9. 12 minus 9. So, 12 minus 1, 9. So, our A sub 3 is equals to 3. So, this will be 3. Alright, so check the pattern class. As you can see, okay, as you can see, the numbers are decreasing by 3. 9 minus 3, so the common difference is negative 3. 9 minus 3 is 6. 6 minus 3 is 3. 3 minus 3, it should be 0, and the next number should be negative 3. So let's check that one using the formula a sub n equals 12 minus 3n. So substitute the value of n, which is 4. A sub 4 equals 12 minus 3 times 4. So A sub 4 equals 12, negative 3 times 4, that's negative 12. 12 minus 12, A sub 4 is equals to 0. So this will be 0. So last example, substitute the value of n. So A sub n equals 12 minus 3n. A sub 5, the fifth number, 12 minus 3 times 5. So, A sub 5 equals 12, negative 3 times 5, that's negative 15. A sub 5 equals 12 minus 15, that's negative 3. Alright, so that's it for number 3. So, let me erase this one. You pause the video class. So, let me erase this one. So, you have 9, 6, 3, 0, and negative 3. Alright, let's try number 4. So, for number 4, A sub n equals 3 raised to the power of n. So, if n is 1, first term, first term will be 3 raised to the power of 1. A sub 1 is just simply 3. Just simply copy 3 class. Alright, so a sub n, if n is 2, a sub n equals 3 raised to the power of n. If a sub a, if n is 2, a sub 2, or the second term, 3 raised to the power of 2, a sub 2 will be 3 raised to the power of 2. It means multiply 3 by itself twice. So it means 3 times 3. Okay, does it mean 3 times 2? It means 3 times 3. So 3 times 3 is 9. Alright, so the first term is 3, the second term is 9. So let's have the next number if a if n is 3. So a sub 3 or a sub n equals 3 raised to the power of n. a sub 3 will be 3 raised to the power of 3. 
a sub 3 will be 3 raised to the power of 3 class. It means 3 times 3 times 3. You will have 27. 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. Alright, so let's have a sub 4 or a sub n equals 3 raised to the power of n. So a sub 4 or the fourth term, 3 raised to the power of 4. If n is 4, so a sub 4 will be 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. So 20, if 3 times 3 is 9, then 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. So therefore, 3 times 3 times 3, you multiply 3 by itself 4 times. Times 3 is 81. So 81. 81. Alright, then lastly, a raised to the power of n equals 3 raised to the power of n. So a raised to the power of a sub 5. A sub 5 equals 3 raised to the power of 5. So a sub 5 will be 3 raised to the power of 5. So if 3, time, 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, 3, raised, uh, 3 multiplied by itself 4 times is 81. So we, multi we multiply 81 by another 3. Let's check what will be the answer. So let me erase this one here. So 81 times 3, 3, 3 times, 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 8 is 24, 243. So this will be 243. Alright, so that's it for number 4. We have 3, 9, 27, 81, and 243. Alright, let's try last example, number 5. And then you try to answer class number 6. Just substitute the value of n. So for number 5, a sub n equals negative 2 raised to the power of n. So if n is 1, uh, sorry, negative 2 raised to the power of n. If n is 1, the first term. So a sub a sub n equals negative 2 raised to the power of n. If n is 1, so first term equals negative 2 raised to the power of 1. So just simply copy negative 2. So first term is negative 2. So negative 2. Alright, so next. A sub n equals negative 2 raised to the power of n. If n is 2, a, a sub 2 equals negative 2 raised to the power of 2. a sub 2 will be negative 2 multiplied by itself. Negative 2 raised to the power of 2 plus it doesn't mean negative 2 times 2. It means negative 2 times negative 2. You multiply negative 2 by itself twice. So negative 2 times negative 2, that's positive 4. So a sub 2 is positive 4. Alright, so let's have a sub 3. So a sub 3, let me just write it directly. We don't have enough space. a sub 3 is negative 2 raised to the power of 3. So it means negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. So negative 2 times negative 2, that's negative... Uh, negative 2 times negative 2, that's positive 4. Times negative 2, that's negative 8. So we have negative 8. a sub 3 is negative 8. Alright, so once again, negative 2 times negative 2, that's positive 4, times negative 2, that's negative 8. We need to multiply negative 2 3 times. Right? Negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4, times negative 2, that's negative 8. Alright, let's try to check. The, let me just erase this one. So the fourth term, a sub 4 equals negative 2 raised to the power of 4 so a sub 4 will be so negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 so negative 2 times negative 2 that's positive 4 times negative 2 that's negative 8 times negative 2 that's positive 16 so positive 16 so negative 2 times negative 2 is 4 negative 2 times negative 4 is positive 4 4 times 4 is 16 so 16, this is, okay, this is negative 8, then positive 16. Alright, last number, a sub 5 equals negative 2 raised to the power of 5. So a sub 5 will be, so negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. You multiply negative 2 5 times. So negative 2 times negative 2, that's positive 4. Times negative 2, that's negative 8. 
Okay, negative 2 times negative 2, that's, neg uh, that's positive 4 times negative 2. So this is positive 4 times negative 2. This will be negative 8 times negative 2. This will be neg uh, no, sorry, negative 2, negative 8 times negative 2. That's positive 16 times the last number. Negative 2, this will be negative 32. Alright, negative 32. Okay, check this one class. Negative 2 times negative 2, positive 4. Times negative 2, negative 8. Times negative 2, that's positive 16. Times negative 2, that's negative 32. So this will be your answer. Negative 2, 4, negative 8, 16, and negative 32. Alright, so that's how you find the first five terms of the given sequence. So you try to answer number 6 class and you put your answer in the comment section down below. So if you like this video, do not forget to subscribe, you share it to your friends and to your classmates so that we can help them. So once again, this is Teacher MJ. Bye-bye.